Hello everyone, welcome back to our garden tour series. It's August 4th, 2020, and this is St. Pierre, this tomato. This is a really cool one. I mean, I know I say that in every video, but anyone who is a gardener knows the reason you grow all your different varieties is they each have their peculiarities that you enjoy. This is just an absolutely incredible tasting red tomato. You know, a lot of ours are really a lot of our tomatoes that we grow, like the Blue Beauty or like the Thornburn Terracotta that I just did a video on, they're, they're unusual in whatever way. This is an old French heirloom, St. Pierre. If you just want that classic, delicious, red garden tomato, this is it right here. A couple cool things about this. I mean, as you can see, it's a beefsteak slicer for sure. But it also is a lot pulpier than a lot of beef steaks, and so you can sort of see it's a very, very, very heavy producing tomato. There's just tomatoes everywhere on this thing. They're all over. I mean, this thing just goes crazy. But what's really neat is because they're so pulpy, they make a great sauce tomato as well. So I typically don't really like growing Romas because the only thing you can do with them is make sauce, and that's fine if you like to make sauce. We do like to make sauce, but we also like to just eat these. And the flavor of this puts any Roma that I've ever had to shame. And so you can do everything you can do with a Roma with this tomato, but the flavor is going to be so much better. And you can also slice it and use it on sandwiches. It's got enough juice to it to make that a pleasant experience. So St. Pierre, it is an old French heirloom. Um, kind of gnarly at times, but... Typically just a round red, nondescript, but don't let that fool you. You'll be happy if you grow these. So St. Pierre.